welcome back to another video. I'm about to go out to Lee Bardugo signing for Ninth House on my local Autostones. I am so excited. Um, a little bit nervous. Oh my god, I'm peeing a little bit! I'm peeing a little bit! This is going to be the first ever Lee Bardugo book that I have read and so I'm really excited to document on here and read Ninth House as someone who has never read her writing before because I think a lot of people who are reading Ninth House have read her writing before so I guess it's a different kind of perspective but on the whole I'm just super excited to dive into her works. I've been meaning to do this for a while and then when Ninth House came out and there was a signing right by me it was just like the perfect opportunity. So... We're gonna go meet her and we're gonna go read the book afterwards. I'm so excited because like Dark Academia is like my favorite thing, as we all know, Secret History, one of my favorite books ever, let alone of this year. So, and I just feel like it's gonna be the perfect vibes for right now. So I'm very excited to dive in. But before the signing, I'm about to go and meet up with Gabriella from Books and Other Nerd Things. I'll link her channel down below. You should definitely go subscribe if you aren't yet. She's on Leeds today. So I'm gonna go meet up with her for a little bit before the event and then, it'll be time for the event, so. Why am I so nervous today? Okay, like TMI. I like started my period today or like yesterday. I'm so emotional. <laughs> I'm like going up and down in the emotions and I feel like it just couldn't have come at a worse time, you know? Cause I wanna have fun, but I'm like. <laughs> That's me right now, but everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Vibes this. We vibing. We vibing. Okay, bye. <laughs> sort of really silly stuff. I mostly just wanted to describe like what people wore and the powers they had and their animal companions. And I wrote, I wrote a story, <laughs> it was about a girl whose mom was really mean and she went to live in a hotel. Where she got the money to live in the hotel, I do not know. Um, but it was sh a hotel shaped like a champagne bottle um, and it was called Pinkella Champanella <laughs> because as a kid I thought pink champagne was like the fanciest thing that ever, and I kind of still do. Very fancy. How are you? I'm oh, good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. Here he told me. You should do it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. So I just got home and. <laughs> Woohoo! Yes. It was amazing. She was amazing. She is so like charismatic when she speaks and so funny. She had like the whole room like in the palm of her hand. It was just so good. <laughs> it was so good. I had so much fun. It was definitely like the best vibe out of. Why am I still saying vibe? You're literally the dumbest person I've ever met. It gives me a bad vibe. Not funny. Annoying. But like the best atmosphere out of any of the events that I've been to so far. And I said to her when I met her that like hearing her speak made me want to write again, like write fiction, which I haven't done in God knows how long, like since I was like a kid. But um, it really made me want to do that again so badly. Like, you know, those moments when you feel like you have like an awakening. That was it. <laughs> like, I really felt like, oh, my God, I should definitely do that again and find a time to do that. So maybe I will, I don't know. I am just ecstatic, like I just can't wait. I can imagine, she was describing some of the places um, like at Yale that inspired the book or um, like she went to for research and oh my gosh, like just imagining in my head, I am just so, so excited already to read this. So yeah, your girl is tired, hungry, but so happy because it was such an amazing, such an amazing night and now I've got this in my hands. I really like the Warstones exclusive cover. I'm sure everyone does. But look at this. The YA snake, bitches, is here to play. No, um, I think it's a lovely cover. So yeah, I'll check back in with you when I'm going to pick this book up. And you'll just have to miss me until then. Oh wait, it'll be now. Hello everyone. Checking back in. <laughs> to, um let you know I'm about to start Ninth House. I'm actually gonna be buddy reading it with Rachel Marie, who you probably know, but if you don't, <laughs> I 
Do you even watch BookTube? <laughs> Do you even go here? <laughs> she doesn't even go here. She was just tweeting about it last night, and so we, or last, you say, afternoon, and so we just decided to buddy read it together. I know she started it, but I don't know how far in she is, so I'm gonna make a start. My family are about to get here. They're visiting me this weekend. It's Thursday, and they're here till Saturday, so hopefully I'll have some, like, nice shots of me actually going places for once, because I never do. This has actually been toned quite well. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Whatever happens, I'm still going to read more Lee Bardugo. So if I don't like it, like a lot of people have not liked it. Well, I mean, a lot of people loved it, but the divisiveness scares me. Even if I don't like it, I'm still going to read like all her other books. So that isn't the issue here. The issue is I really want to enjoy this. I feel like it could be right up my street. I'm actually, I feel like I got chest pains. I'm so nervous. Anyway, I'm going to go read for about, I've only got 10 minutes till they turn up, but I'm just going to put it to good use. Ah, okay. I'm just going to go read it and I'm going to say bye, 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 bye. freaking out. I always try to begin with the book. We're going to talk about the book first because that is what we're here for but let it be known that I'm freaking out and then we'll come to that. Ninth house. Hello future Megan here. <laughs> I'm just editing this and I just realized I never actually explained what ninth house is about and I'm sure many of you do know what it's about but for those of you that don't we follow Alex as she is recruited to attend Yale University in order to monitor the secret societies that are there as they perform a lot of dark magic and so there is uh, kind of an organization that monitor all of their activities. So she's there doing that and there's also a murder mystery that occurs where a girl is found murdered and Alex thinks that it might be one of the society's fault. So it's kind of her investigating that as well. That's essentially all you need to know. Okay, back into the video. <laughs> I wanted to wait until I was like 100 to 150 pages into this because I know that's when a lot of people say it picks up or when they started to get into it I have been into it from the get-go. I I'm really liking it. This is just the level of pretentiousness I love. We all know I love the secret history and This is like kind of like that. It's like a little bit up itself. It thinks it's clever like it thinks it knows what's going on and I think it does <laughs> like I know how Alex moves and that might be like a crazy thing to say and you'll be like why is that what you're picking up on but like I feel like she is such a well-rounded character that I know her mannerisms without them having to be explained to me so when she's saying something I can perfectly envision in my head how she's moving as she says that even if it's not explicitly stated does that make sense and I don't get that with a lot of books, a lot of characters. I feel that's a really difficult thing to do when you feel like you know the character inside out. The atmosphere, I think this is going to be the like darkest, I feel like that's the best term to describe it, uh, the darkest book that I will read this year or have read this year. I don't really ever read super dark stuff and this is dark. Uh, I don't think this is a spoiler, I've had a lot of people give trigger warnings for this but there is a section near the beginning, you know, I'm still kind of near the beginning, where blood magic is performed, so like cutting of oneself uh, to do the magic, and I had to take a moment, I had to take a moment to read it, because it was, woo, it was tough, like it was tough, I am not adept or used to reading messed up stuff. It is difficult to get into, like it's very long chapters, and so it's not the kind of book where you're going to be like, oh, just one more chapter. <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh, 
let me read to the end of this chapter and then I'll stop kind of thing because they're long they're thick I'm quite out of breath saying that. It's really worrying, isn't it? Well, I'm going gym later. I also really like Darlington as a character. We find out at the beginning he's gone somewhere. It switches between two, at the moment, two timelines, but I think it ends up being about three. And at the moment, we're reading her, Alex, kind of becoming a member of the, is it Life? Lathe? Life? I don't know, that's it. And then at the point in time in which he has gone somewhere. And I am so worried. <laughs> Because I love him. He's just so cool. I love pretentious characters. Give me more. I just, I just, I just, I just love them. <laughs> Second point of business. This was like deja vu because last night I uploaded my, uh, reading my favorite books in my childhood video, which I will link wherever. Uh, I never know which side it is. I'm going to make an educated guess and say... I think she looks very good in this. That's a beautiful, very flattering shot. But she's so stupid. Fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, I uploaded that last night and it's kind of gone a bit crazy because, well, firstly, Chandler shared it on Twitter and Chandler's been one of the ones, one of the booktubes I've watched for so, so long. And she commented on it and I was like freaking out and then... Taylor from Books on Lala commented on it, followed me, subscribed to me, and shared on her Instagram story. I've been trying to be careful and not freak out because I don't want to seem weird. And I think it's important not to create a narrative of where I see myself as below them and all these people as like lofty beings. No, I just see them as like normal people. But it's cool as a content creator for the people who you've been looking up to to be sharing your content and enjoying your content and the people you've been watching a lot to be enjoying your content, right? So like, I'm trying not to seem like, ah, you know, but we move quite literally like, <sighs> and so because of Kayla sharing my content I've hit 600 subscribers this morning and I said in my video previously my one up buddy last night that um I kind of have to pretend like it's not happening like I kind of have to be like that's not happening to me because otherwise I don't know emotionally I really have to deal with it like I really don't know how to act so thank you Kayla <laughs> for sharing <laughs> thank you Chandler for oh my god I just I live like I, I live anyway we need to wrap this up because this is going on too long if you're new here thank you so much again for subscribing every single person who clicks subscribe know that like I think you are so wonderful and yo I'm just so appreciative I am so endlessly appreciative also just quickly like it was on Instagram that Kayla shared it and my bookstagram ain't popping so if you're new make sure you follow me on twitter or add me on actually no goodreads add me on goodreads but like i ain't popping there either follow me on twitter because that is where like i get up to my high jinks like i feel like i'm me on uh, <laughs> on twitter so yeah that's all i have to say loving ninth house i don't know what you hoes. okay here's the thing i don't know what you hoes are talking about when you say you didn't like it i can respect your opinion kayla <laughs> cat <laughs> everyone is hating it but like i don't know what you're talking about i don't know what i'm talking about in my opinion it's bomb okay bye <laughs>
Do you know what I mean? Like, I felt like I just wanted a bit more like, grit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> There's some parts that are very difficult to read about, but I think Lee Bardugo is doing it in such a good way. I don't understand how everyone's been hating on this. Like, I'm really loving it. I'm really, really loving it. I don't know actually if I end up checking back in with you again unless something like crazy happens. Here's the thing. There's none of these like, oh, I have to pick the camera up moments. Do you know what I mean? Which is maybe why some people who vlog have struggled with it because to me it's kind of part of a more continuing story there's never been any moments where i've been like <gasps> or maybe there will be that maybe like i've heard the ending is a bit like that but in general it's more just like at a level like crazy shit happens but you never feel like oh my god i need to pick this up it's like okay and but i don't mind that i quite like that so yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> Your girl needs to have a hot water bottle or something because uh, my stomach is eating me when it's under. <laughs> you can't understand anything I said. And um, once upon a time, I would never put myself looking like this out on the internet. Do you see I keep sucking my cheeks in because I feel like my face looks so bloated. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go have fish fingers. Bye. <laughs> I'm right at the end and it is getting so juicy. So I thought I'd film <laughs> my reaction to the end. <laughs> Oh my god, the ending to my book. <laughs> so where is it? It's here. It's here. <laughs> it five stars <laughs> respectfully i don't know what any of you bitches who gave it like two stars are talking about respectfully i don't know what you were talking about because <laughs> i loved it the whole way through i didn't think it was boring but i can like slower paced books like i quite enjoy a bit of a i don't think it's a slow pace either i think things are constantly happening but some people said it was boring and here's the thing there were times when I sat down to read, I was like, I need to read a lot tonight. And I <laughs> didn't read for an hour because I just didn't want to pick the book up. But that's because it is a bit intimidating. Like, it's a bit like, I don't have any concrete thoughts really to give it, to give to you because I'm just, I can't wait to read more Lee Bardugo now. Like, y'all, I, I, I thought, I thought it was going to be a bad decision to read. This is my first Lee Bardugo. But I... I thought, let's just go with it. If it's wrong, I'll still read her other ones and probably love them, so. And. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before, unafraid to reference or not reference, put it in a blender, shit on it, vomit on it, eat it, give birth to it. This might be one of my, nah, this might be one of my favorite books of the year. It's gonna go on my favorite shelf on Goodreads. The one thing I would say is, if you are in a reading slump or you feel like a reading slump is coming on or you have just got out of one, don't pick it up. You need to be like, raring to go. I always seem to like books like that. Like everyone struggles with The Secret History, which is my favorite book of the year. I seem to like books that I feel like are a bit of a struggle, like I've put in work. I felt like at the end of this, I was validated and like I deserve to enjoy that. Not even long books, cause this isn't long, but like it's just like <laughs> heavy. I am, can you tell I'm tired? It's eight o'clock at night and I put makeup on to film this another clip and I kind of wish I wasn't. <laughs> I loved the vibes of this the whole way through. I loved Alex as a character. As a main character, it's really refreshing to read a main character like her i loved all the messed up shit i loved it i oh oh my god i loved all the sneakiness and backstabbing and reveals let it be known oh oh, 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 oh i wanted to point this out let it be known 
no spoilers, but not the first person reveal, but the second person reveal, I called it from the get-go. I was not fooled. I was not fooled. I, I didn't call everything else, but that one thing, that one thing, I called. I called that one. If you read it, you probably know what I mean. I mean, I may even be being too vague, but um, no, I'm not. Everyone will know what I'm talking about. Why do I just look at my phone? That's so unprofessional. Um, yeah, I called it and I felt like Sherlock Holmes over here. <laughs> I cannot wait for the next one to come out. Some people have an issue with there being five parts in this. I know. If you've been nervous about picking up A, because you've heard people talk bad things about it, and B, because you've never read Lee Bardugo, then just please. I feel like my energy has been so off in this wrap up, but it's just because I'm so excited and I don't know how to deal with it. I don't know how to... Anyway, anyway, you don't care. It's the end of the video. We are all tired and I'm here to say five stars. Go read it. I'm right. Everyone else is wrong. No, that's not correct. That's not correct. Everyone has their own opinion. Bye. I hope you have a great time until I see you next. Oh my god, I hate myself. Bye. 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 Can you tell him, Elle? Okay, bye. <laughs>